Hello everyone, my name is Abdullah and today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic. The theory behind the data recovery software and how it works. Probably while you are listening to me, you know that there are a few ways if you accidentally deleted your files, you can get your files back. Some of them are free solutions like Test Desk and some of them are paid like Rokiova. Most of you are probably have used data recovery software once or twice before. In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate a little experiment how these softwares work. We are gonna use a hex editor and virtual hard disk. First of all, you have to know that. However, how many files on your desk are still there even after you delete them? The only thing that happen when you delete your files from your computer and the recycle bin that you have erased only the pointer to the file from the drive index, marking the old file location as free disk space. Obviously, it is still there, but you can't see it. Even though, when you write or add something to your desk, you may end up overwriting your important files, since the old location is now marked as available and free. This is why you have to start the recovery process immediately after deleting your files. And of course, our biggest enemy in this process is the fragmentation, because it puts the file fragments back together, moving information from one location to another on the same disk, which resulting that if the pointer in the disk points to something that isn't there anymore, it will be harder for you to recover your files again. Well, to start our experiment, we need first to create a virtual hard drive. Right click on my computer, get to the disk management, and press action. Create a virtual hard drive. We'll create the location. Let's call it BOT. And for example, 100 make. And press OK. We'll initialize the hard drive, MBR. And right click, next, next next but right now to make our demonstration simple as possible we will use fat file system press next finish just ignore this message right now we got the letter g so let's go to there so right now we are in our new virtual hard drive and this is the file for the virtual hard drive so we'll create a new text file let's call it hello there and I'm the content of the file. Okay, let's save it, close it. Right now, let's see how it looks like uh, the disk under our disk editor. Right now, we are using Active Disk Editor. We will open the disk, which is uh, right now it's the 100 meg. Press open, and here is how it looks like under the hex code. The hex code is kind of alternative uh, way to watch binary file and here it is so the first sector which is basically the square uh, containing the file system and to make the system recognize this hard drive so to find our file basically we'll go to sector 512 so as you see here this is our file so as we see here it's hello t and there and hello so basically we'll take a snapshot to realize what's what happened uh after our modification or what's gonna happen after we delete the file so we'll keep this there right now we'll go back and delete our file shift delete so to refresh our memory we'll just press close find our 500 meg and navigate to sector 512 and as we see here our file is not exist here but it is still exists over there but there is a little bit of change as we see here uh, 
the edge has been removed and here is uh, a weird sign before the edge so as you see here when you point to this character we will find e5 e5 point to a deleted file it still exists but it was deleted so this is how the pointer removed from the drive index when we compare it to there as you see here when we compare our file as you see here we have no e5 like when we compare it to here, we'll start from there. Let's make it parallel. Okay. So as we see here, we got our, yeah, right now it's equivalent. So four eight, four C, four, four eight, four five, four C, four C. And as we see here, E five, four five. And the same thing happened over there. So basically we need to modify uh, this page to match our original page to recover our file. So to make our modification, we'll need to close our program and we'll need to deattach our virtual hard drive because basically we can't override it. So we'll deattach it and we need to ignore this thing. Eh? So we'll yeah, attach our virtual hard drive, press OK. Right now it has been deattached. And let's go back over here and we'll add our disk image that we have created before. VHD, press OK. And right now we'll open our disk editor that will allow us to make our modification. So because if it were attached, we, it were, the system will not allow us and it will give us error five. So as we see here, the first line we need to fix is this one, four eight, and the second one, second E5, the one we got is zero one. Okay, so we'll need to replace the first E5 with zero one, the second one was four eight. So, Basically, right click, allow edit, zero one, and over here, four eight, and press save, yes, and <laughs> here we go. As you see here, apparently uh, the characters was fixed, and we will close our program and try to reattach our file again. Attach VHD from our desktop, press OK, and we'll go back. So our file came back. So this is how, this is a simple idea how the data recovery software works. So thanks for watching. If you like the content, don't forget to like and share and subscribe.